In this video, I'm going to show you how to submit your portfolio or a portion of your portfolio if it's required to be submitted as an assignment for a particular class. So on the screen here, you or we're on the main portfolio page that should show any of your portfolios that you've created. So for example, for the DPD ePortfolio, this is one that was a, a test um, sample created. So if I was finished with whatever was required for the particular class that I'm submitting this for, and I have it all ready to go, it's all published um, in here and all set, and I'm ready to submit it for an assignment, I would go up to the top under the Portfolios Tools, choose Submit the Portfolio, and here you should see a list of assignments that you have in classes that you are taking or that have been enabled for you. So for example, in this, if I was submitting this for my ePortfolio for the fall semester of DNA 492, then I would choose that assignment. So once I click on that assignment, then it goes highlights, you'll see the change in highlight there to submit ePortfolio. This is the place where I can choose what elements of my ePortfolio I want to submit. For this assignment, maybe I want to submit the entire ePortfolio because that's what's required, or I want to submit even the sections that aren't completed, submit all of it. So in that case, I can just check this top box. If I only want to submit certain elements for that particular assignment, I can choose only the pieces that I want to submit. So maybe I want to submit my home page, personal statement, resume, diplomas. I don't have any of my um, Ascend core knowledge done, so I don't want to submit that now, and I want to submit involvement. Then I could just choose those. Or maybe I've only worked on KRD 2.2 for the time being, so I'm just going to choose that one. Then I can choose Submit, and that will submit the assignment, the ePortfolio, for that particular assignment. This shows you that your ePortfolio was successfully submitted and what parts were submitted. If we say, oops, that's not what I want to do, we can undo it here or we can view what actually was submitted. I'm going to go ahead and undo for here, um, but if you were submitting it for assignment, you would not want to do that. So then you can go back to submit if you feel like you made an error on what you want to choose. So if it's requested that you submit your ePortfolio for an assignment in a class that will go then through the grading process within Digication, that's how you would submit that assignment.